Well, order. Mr. Speaker, the Prime Minister is fighting his own Defence Minister to have one of only five Canadian Forces transport planes repainted white and red for exclusive VIP use. One officer wrote, quote, to have an Airbus permanently configured for VIP use in a colour other than the standard grey would have an impact both financially and on operations, as essentially it would leave you with one less air resource. Despite this warning, why is the Prime Minister insisting on having this plane repainted instead of deferring to the informed opinion of people at National Defence and his own Defence Minister? Honourable Minister of National Defence, order. Uh, he's got it wrong, Mr. Speaker. There's been no decision taken with respect to uh, repainting of, of transport aircraft. In fact, the repainting of military assets occurs on a regularly scheduled established maintenance cycle. Uh, it's done when the operational tempo will not be affected, and I can assure the honourable member and members uh, present uh, that we would never do anything that would uh, interfere with the operations of the Canadian Forces or would negatively impact them uh, in any way. Honourable Member for Quill. It's clear from access to information, Mr. Speaker, that the Defence Minister is wrong. The Defence Minister has rejected the Prime Minister's attempt to repaint the aircraft at least three times, and senior members of the Canadian Forces, including the Chief of Defence Staff, also rejected the idea. The Prime Minister's personal meddling is robbing the Forces of a valuable air resource for his own personal vanity. The Prime Minister has ignored his Defence Minister before, and it cost Canadians $300 million to move Camp Mirage. When will the Prime Minister put the needs of our forces before his own ego? Yes. The Honourable 